Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, an analysis workflow uh, for coupling. So this option was uh, waterfalled into AllCAD PCB Designer Professional and Allegra PCB Designer at QIR7, which was a uh, hotfix 48 of 17.2. So if we go to the, the, the Analyze Workflow Manager menu, we get this, uh, this Analyze Workflows dockable window, so we can take this onto a second monitor if we want to, or dock it on, on top of everything else. Um, so you can see this option here. So I've got options for impedance workflow. There's another video for this. We're going to cover this uh, coupling workflow in this one, uh, just how close uh, tracks are routed together and whether they're going to have an effect on one another. So we've got a couple of methods to, to select the, the items or the nets. We can either do a net-based selection or a directed group. A directed group, you would pick the specific ICs or the components that you're worried about, and the tools will then work out the nets that connect those two components together. In this example, we're going to do a net-based one, and then we'll go and select the nets. So I want some specific nets here, so let's just type uh, the name of the bus that I'm interested in. And the ones I'm specifically wanting are these. So I'll just move those across. I've got some analysis options here. Um, these are the default ones that Cadence provides you. The only one I'm going to modify here is the Geo window. Um, and what this is is effectively the, this is the size of the window around the nets, um, just to kind of give you an idea of what your work looking are from a coupling point of view. So we'll click OK to that, and then we'll start the analysis. Okay, once the analysis is finished, we've got a couple of uh, view modes here. Um, there's a coupling table and some coupling vision. So we'll enable the coupling vision and we then get a color coded indication effectively of, of, of the net. So it was this bus here that I, I did the analysis on. And you can see, obviously, I've got some, some percentage coefficients of, of what the coupling issues are along these nets. If I hover over the net, I'll actually get some, the tooltip has been modified so I can uh, get some indication of what the, the biggest aggressor net is on that. Um, what the coefficients and the lengths and the percentage coefficients um, and what the, the total coupling index is and that's based on effectively the percentage of coupling and the coupling length um, so I can see from an indication point of view whether these are going to cause me an issue or not and um, probably at the lower end of the scale I'm probably not too worried too much about these so I can effectively just again slideable scales to, to get to the information that I'm interested in so you can see obviously I've got a couple of issues here um, where the percentage coefficient is very very high and if I zoom in here and hover over. I've actually got um, VD7 and VD6 directly routing one on top of another, one on uh, a layer below. So this might cause me a coupling issue, something I might need to consider maybe rerouting the track. If we go to the coupling table, we can then bring the, the, the window up just to maximize this area. Let's just drag this one down a little bit. So we can start to look at effectively VD6 and VD7. And then if we double click here, it will zoom and center to where the actual issues are so we can start to find out um, where the issues are in the design and I can then work out what I need to change uh, from a routing point of view.